Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Back with the video on what is the application of software defined radio. And we're going to do, we're going to learn how to build a spectrum analyzer. Uh, so you need two things. Uh, you can either use any of the software defined radio platform that you have available. Uh, the cheapest one that uh, you can think of is any of these RTL SDR dongles, which are only half duplex, which means they are receive only. Uh, software defined radio platforms so currently i'm using a 20 dollar usb dongle which is available online you can get it online and stuff like that and you can convert that into a good looking spectrum analyzer uh, so for that uh, the software that i'm using is actually GNU radio companion i made a video where you have android software which is known as spectrum sdr and rf analyzer which are available which can convert your mobile phone into a spectrum analyzer but this is a little bit different approach using GNU Radio Companion. So make sure you have your RTL SDR dongle, Blade RF, Hack RF, whichever software that you have connected. Make sure it's connected to your laptop. Make sure you have your GNU Radio on. And this is what a flow graph should look like. First of all, you need an Osmocom source. If you're using any of these uh, uh, like Hack RFs and RTL SDR dongles, just simply type in here. Command F and simply type in Osmocom. So basically what you need is actually a source block, Osmocom source block. Just simply click on it. It will come here. And if you just go over this, it will support all of your RTL, SDR, uh, I'm sorry, uh, and SDR play and all of that stuff. When you come to sync, it will use ethos research great scott gadgets blade rf and things like that so a lot of in sync think of it as a transmitter and when you think of a source think of it as a receiver so in guru video this particular block is actually depicting your hardware which is connected to your laptop or your phone well generally laptop is connected to your laptop so this block is depicting this so right now i'm using rtl sdr dongle uh somehow it didn't work for me uh, you can just leave it as is. The default block would just come with like two quotation marks like this. Or just if it if it doesn't work for you, just simply type in RTL equals zero. Uh, this is basically take that into account. This is your device argument. A couple more things that you need to know. Uh, you got to have a frequency a samp rate. So I have chosen a samp rate of eight mega samples. Even though this is not valid for your RTL SDR, even though it's not valid for RTL SDR, but I was experimenting with Hack RF. We'll just change it in a little bit. Let me actually let me connect my Hack RF first. Uh, next uh, is frequency. Frequency is controlled by this freak block, uh, range block. I have chosen the frequency from 50 megahertz all the way up to 6 gigahertz since I'm using my Hack RF first and, and with a step size of 200k. And I have these gain controls, which is RF gain, IF gain, BB gain. These are all being controlled by the slider. RF gain, BB gain, and IF gain. I have chosen a default limit from uh, of 20. And it starts from 0 and go all the way up to 50. And a step size of 2. So all of these values are there in Osmocom source. Uh, the next thing that you need to worry, that's it. That's, about, that's all you need to do. And you only need to have these sliders when you want to change these values during runtime. I'm going to change this to hack RF because I've just connected my hack RF. So simply type in hack RF equals zero. Hit apply. Click OK. Uh, these are some update rate. Uh, by default, these uh, GUI syncs that I have connected, which is my time sync, frequency sync, and uh, waterfall sync, they just have a update rate of 0 0.10. You can just leave it as is. Uh, it doesn't matter, uh, but uh, I've just used a parameter block, but it's generally 0 0.1, 0 0.10. That's perfectly fine. Other thing that you need to do is just have your time sync, frequency sync, and waterfall sync, and let's just hit play. And if you look at your here, it has chosen Hack RF with firmware 2023. Now you have your flow graph right here, a spectrum analyzer, which is working. You can choose your frequency right now is 93 megahertz. You can choose different frequency. Let's increase some IF gain. There we go. 
let's some um, increase some RF gain and let's try BB gain there we go and you can just play around with frequency uh, I think the dominant frequency I don't know I want to go try 945 9.40. There we go. I can see some frequencies here. I can look at it in terms of waterfall graph. I can see a lot of transmission which is taking place here. Here, these are, that's what it looks like. This is what it looks like when it comes to a scope. A scope doesn't even make sense uh, because there's a lot of data which is coming in. Basically, you can figure out in terms of spectrum and your waterfall graph there's a lot of activity you can start increasing the frequency and you can find the frequency spike and things like that so we have a good chunk of data being transmitted here you can look at the waterfall graph of this and you can try like uh, for example two four three one two three four five six uh, Two four three zero, which is about uh, your GSM, uh, sorry, ISM band for two point four gigahertz. Uh, then you can try like uh, two one one. I don't know two. So this is about three. Uh, this is where the four G is operating uh, here at twenty one hundred uh, megahertz band, and you can try five seven two five or something like that five seven two uh this is another band which is five gigahertz band uh for wi-fi transmission nice and band so this is the basic way this is the basic idea behind making a spectrum analyzer using any of these hardware platforms that you have available i'm going to turn this off quickly and i'm going to unplug my hack rf and i'm going to plug in my rtl sdr dongle I want to change the sample rate to about two mega samples because this is what the uh, sample rate supports. The other thing that I need to make changes is here. Go here and simply type in RTL and make sure okay, you have this sync to be don't sync or either un, uh, because PC clock. I, for me, uh, synchronization doesn't work. I don't know when I'm like running it. I just leave this as uh, don't sync. Hit apply. And notice it here when I play this, you will see that it will automatically pick up my RTL SDR dongle right here. So RTL 2832, and this is the band. The dongle that I'm using currently it goes up to like about 940 megahertz. So you can clearly visualize this. So all of this band is not working. Uh, so it's basically for your hack RF. So that's the basic idea. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.